Hey, this is Jay with Jay Mega Reptiles, and today we're going to be doing another egg pooling of clutch number five of the season. This pairing was a pastave to a pastave. This pairing was brought to you by Jay Mega Reptiles, and the reason I did pastave to pastave, actually, I wanted to put my GHI vanilla 100% head, uh, head ghost male to this girl named Stoney and she just wasn't going. They, their chemistry wasn't there. So what I had to do in a scramble to get the, the best genes possible in this particular pairing was put a pastave to her. Now I have a lot of Mojave, I have a lot of pastel, I have a few pastave uh, breeders, and so I was thinking, what can I do, what can I make out of this clutch? So my goal for this clutch is to do a super Mojave, super pastel. That's what, I, that's what my goal is, male or female. You know we like female heavy in the, in the ball python industry. Um, Stoney is not really, uh, she's not really aggressive, but when it comes to her eggs, she always lays about seven eggs for me. Good eggs, but she's, she's really, uh, aggressive when it comes to her eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and, well, not really stop talking, but I'm gonna pull the eggs. I'm gonna use this toilet paper roll, or paper towel roll, I should say. And I'm just gonna make her head... Basically, I'm not, I'm, I'm, she's scared, she's nervous. Basically what I'm doing is I'm occupying her head. So that way I can grab her tail and I can pull up so she can't uh, wrap around her eggs. What that does is that gets the, the mom to let go of the egg and to let go. Now usually once they let go of the eggs, um, they're okay to they're okay to, to handle. She's um, <clears throat> empty, um, but this is my beautiful pastave female. And she's not real aggressive. As you can see, I've just taken her eggs from her. And she's like, Bam, take, that, take, that, take that, take that. Why you take my eggs from me? So that's why, yeah, I said that. You so anyway, back to back to topic. I'm I'm going to to put her back. Well, I'm going to put her away for now, and then just focus on the eggs for now until I can get her back in the picture. So now we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six eggs, two slugs. Uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do real quick is I need to put her back. This is her home. Uh, so I'm going to uh, grab the, the, the six eggs and the slugs. I'm going to, to replace them with the her home. I'm gonna put this back. Bear with me for a second. She's trying to escape because she's looking for she's looking for a place to hide because she's mad. Go in here and relax. I'm gonna take care of your eggs for you, baby. Don't worry about that. I'll incubate them for you. So snakes, uh, female ball pythons, they don't like, uh, they don't, this is me spraying alcohol if you can hear it. So they don't like, they don't like when you take their eggs from them. Some of them will bite, some of them won't bite, some of them will just hiss, and, and that be that. But anyway, so I bred the pastave male to this pastave female because I wanted to make some bells. I wanted to make bells. And I, 
have uh, two male females, and then a uh, super. I got two a Mojave super Mojave females, and I have uh, a male bell, which is the super Mojave uh, pastel inchy male. I didn't. He was supposed to go to her, but he wasn't ready when she was. So that made me go to the pastave. In any event. Pastave, Pastave is Super uh, super, super Mojave. And then uh, here's the two uh, slugs. It's too bad that these two aren't bells. <laughs> we'll go ahead and set those there for now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to two, four, six. Six beautiful eggs. I thought she had laid seven. She normally lays seven. She's usually a seven egg layer. And in the event, whatever male got her, um, if it's not a super Mojave, super pastel, it's gonna be available. I don't need, I don't need Mojave. I don't need pastel. I don't need pastave, which is a pastel Mojave. I don't need uh, straight bell. I don't need super Mojave. I have two of those females already. So, the only thing that I would keep out of this clutch is the Super Mojave and Super Pastel. Because who, why wouldn't you want to breed a bell to something and get automatically Mojave and Pastel? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these eggs. Look. We're gonna go ahead and separate these eggs. And oh, they're really plump. I really like the way these eggs are feeling. They're really plump, and she laid them today. Uh oh, you see that? That egg is leaking. You see that right there? It's leaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that there, upright, while my wife records, <laughs> and I'm going to put some masking tape. Yeah, you heard me masking tape on this egg. So what I'm gonna do is grab, excuse my, excuse my light from blinking. I pulled that egg out and it's a little bit too, it's a little bit too juicy, but I can't let this egg die, uh, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, some people use masking tape it's just this little hole right here. It's just, it's a little bit, it's, it's uh, leaking a little bit here. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put that there for now. I'm gonna put this masking tape over it. Masking tape is gonna, it's, it's just like, it's better than duct tape. Bam. Oh wait. I accidentally pushed it too hard. One second. Un momento por favor. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that. And that's gonna stop it from leaking. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure the tape is on. And I'm going to set the egg down gently. And I'm gonna go to the next one. And I'm gonna pull these apart. She just she just laid these eggs, so they're really really super super. Um, I shouldn't have put them apart as hard as fast as I did. But in any event, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's different tricks to the trade to uh, stop the leak. So I'm going to use duct tape. A lot of people use masking tape. See how this is coming apart. See how it's folding. How it's stretching. What I'll do is I'll stop there, and then I'll turn them, and then I'll go this way, and then I'll go, and then that's that. I'll put these down. The six eggs, I'll go ahead and candle, just to make sure they're upright. But if I don't see a super Mojave, super pastel, then it's not staying. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lights off so I can candle it correctly. If you have any questions, please comment. Uh, please comment below. And uh, 
we're just gonna scoot everybody down here like this. Oh, okay then. There's some there's some vanage. This is, oh wow, she, so so the female, she turned the egg. So this was the bottom of the egg. This is how the egg was uh, positioned on, on uh, when she, when I picked them off the, off, the, off the female. Actually, the veins are actually at the bottom. So her veins are at the bottom. You're not gonna be able to see the, the bottom, but the veins are at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is, Mark this egg like this, and then she so she rolled this egg, but she cored the egg as well. So that happens sometimes. I mean, you know, you can't, you, you, you can't. It's just something that happens. It happens in the wild. It happens in, in real life. It happens in captivity. You just have to candle the egg. And make sure you find the embryo. And once you find the embryo, it'll be smooth selling from there. So this egg was laid like this, unfortunately. But the embryo is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and draw the line there. And that egg will be positioned this way. Uh, so the third egg, I'm gonna candle. And obviously you're not gonna be able to see it uh, on the camera, it's just too dark, it's just too bright. Oh wow, really, really nice veins in this one. This one looks like, was that two embryos? Oh no, a twin. Oh no, it may be a twin egg. We'll have to see what happens when they hatch in 50 days. But in the event, the embryo, I'm gonna show you, the embryo's right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the line here. And then we will set that here. And then the fourth egg, I'm gonna go ahead and candle. Obviously you can't see. So I'm gonna go ahead and candle off the camera. And again, she it's like she rolled all the eggs. So the egg was this way. She actually rolled the egg. This is actually the, the top of the egg where the embryo is. So, what that's telling me is, it's telling me that the, her whole clutch was rolled. She had it, and for whatever reason, she rolled the eggs, and she turned them upside down. This was the egg that I pulled off that was stuck. This is the line, embryos right there. So, I'm going to set that egg down and go to the fifth egg. <laughs> and we're going to do the same motion oh okay so all this right here i just candle is is uh all this is yellow there's no veins but when you get here like i said like all the other eggs they were rolled so you have a lot of veins on the bottom which should be on the top so we're just going to roll them back over oh okay then there's an embryo amazing little embryo right here and then I'm just gonna draw a line straight down there and then for the last and final egg this was the egg that was leaking uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to candle this one with try not to push the, the juice out just because duct tape isn't really the greatest tape but it works when it's not wet. Unfortunately, I tried to wipe off this egg uh, and I'm gonna wipe it off again. Wipe off my fingers. I'm gonna try to wipe it off. There's a duct tape there. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna stick. But the egg, the veins are actually Okay, so the veins are uh, all in this area right here. So she laid the egg down like this. So she rolled her whole clutch. I've never, had, I've been breeding for 10 years and I've never had a female roll every egg in her clutch, which is crazy. So the embryo is right there. So what I'm gonna do is, 
I'm going to set up every egg. I'm going to grab some, uh, actually I'm going to turn the light back on since I'm done candling. And then, um, I'll be able to put the, I use, uh, I use straws. And it looks like I may not have enough. But I use straws, uh, because they don't mold. I see a lot of people on YouTube using, uh, uh, cotton swabs. But the only thing about it is the cotton will grow mold. So it's kind of weird to use that. So I'm gonna use uh, just regular, just regular, just regular, uh, just regular straws. And I'm gonna put them together like this. So close enough to touch, but close enough not to touch. And what I'm gonna do is T them touching doesn't really make a big difference. It's just as long as they don't roll, to be honest. So, and I'm gonna put this one here so it doesn't roll or touch the side. That one doesn't roll. That one's against that one, and it's fine. I kind of need, I kind of need two more, two more straws. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut another straw just so, uh, just to have. know how many eggs she, she laid so I wasn't prepared to have uh, that many um, and the crazy thing about this is this is the second clutch today that I was able to to put together the first clutch was a four egger for my little baby girl what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this straw here Oh, so these two straws obviously are different. I didn't, I don't, I don't matter what they look like, but I'm going to set the straw here. So this egg doesn't roll. I'm going to turn this egg so it doesn't roll or just touch the side. And then I'm going to put this straw in between, uh, in between these two, just so that they don't move. Uh, this straw won't touch the side. This egg won't touch the side. This is the leaky egg. Let's put a uh, leaky. L-E-A-K-Y. Leaky. E-G-G. -G. Leaky. Eaky leg. Leaky leg. Leaky egg. <laughs> anyway. You got to hey, listen. If you ain't having fun doing this, then what the hell are you doing it for? Like, we breed, we feed, we 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 uh, put these animals together. The 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 universe allows us to, to to be able to breed. So if you're not having fun, if you're not doing this for fun, if you're just doing this to get a paycheck, then that's not really the right way. Yes, you're gonna have to invest. Yes, you're gonna have to spend money. In order to grow, is is it something that's that's going to happen overnight? If you think that you're going to start breeding tomorrow in in, in a year, you're going to make a thousand dollars. Well, I guess you can't make a thousand dollars in a year. But if you think you're going to make a million dollars in a year, it ain't going to happen unless you buy uh, a couple of big, 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 big breeders uh, inventory. But anyway, my wife's getting tired, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this video. One, two, three, four, five, six amazing eggs. Pastave to pastave. I cannot wait to cut this egg in 50 days. As a matter of fact, September 6th will be day 50. I will cut these eggs on September 6th. And guess what? They will be out moving around on September 16th. I can't wait to share with you guys what we got. Again, thank you for watching. This is J Mega with J Mega Reptiles. And again, Thank you for coming out. You guys have been amazing. I really appreciate everything. You rock.